There are two standard ways of doing this sort of question. The way I really like is to just use sort of the idea of multipliers. So we know that the, um, the new value is equal to the original value times a multiplier. That is, if I wanted to increase by 10%, my multiplier would be 1.1, .1, um, but we'll get back to that. So we know in 2017, that's the old value, we had 250 grams, and then it was reduced to 220 grams. So what is the multiplier that has taken, that we've multiplied by? Well, we can get it by rearranging the multiplier will equal 220 divided by 250. I can get rid of that and that, and now I'm just trying to sort of make this a nice number, a decimal, and one way of doing that is to times top and bottom by four. You could do short division in theory, but better to try and get the denominator as 100, because then I'm going to get 88 over 100, which is 0 0.88. That means I've multiplied by 88%. And what is my percentage decrease? Well, it was 100%. It's gone down to 88%. Therefore, the percentage decrease is going to be 100 minus 88 is going to be 12%. Okay, I think that's the most powerful way of doing this question because um, it really shows your understanding with multipliers. And you just have to remember sort of this one formula which deals with normal percentages, reverse percentages, and percentage decrease rather than learning other formulae. For example, the other formula you can use, which is basically linked to this, it's just not so obvious how, and I'm not going to talk about it here, but it is the fact that percentage decrease is equal to the decrease divided by the original multiplied by 100. Um, and the same would be the case for the increase. The increase would be the increase divided by the original times 100. So the decrease is going to be 250 minus 220. The original was 250, and then I need to times by 100, so I'm going to get 30 divided by 250 times 100. And now I can use the same trick again. I can sort of cancel them out. I can write this as I can times top and bottom by 4, and that will give me 12 over 100 times 100, and this time these cancel out, and you can see again I'm left with 12%. Only downside, you know, this is nice. I suppose you might think, you know what, I just want to learn this formula and it will easily come out because even if you, I suppose, main thing is you can still get one mark in this question if you find the decrease, if you're kind of recognizing that. But um, yeah, if you learn this formula, you can substitute it in. You just have to, you have to know it. Whereas obviously you have to know this formula, but this one is used in many situations. In any case, make sure you have one of these two methods that you're happy with so you can find percentage increase or decrease.